My name is Garbo Ju, and we're gonna show you how to hand build a mug. So as you can see, we just need a lump of clay and very minimum tools. So first, you wanna place your wheel in the center of the turntable. You almost want it to have one hand on the wheel like this, and the other one flexible like this. So first, put it on the middle, and then with your right hand, especially with your thumb, they get through the middle, so just go all the way in. You want to keep around this much spacing at the bottom. I know it's kind of hard when you're starting out to know how deep you're going, so I will go a little bit shallower than deeper. And then the second step, once you have opened up the piece, you wanted to grab it with your hand like this way, with your thumb in the center, and your four fingers outside. So the whole motion you're trying to do is to pinch it like this, and then while turning the wheel at the same time. So let's begin. You put the finger in like this, and then you want to start pinching from the bottom this way. You want it to overlap your finger marks so it's as even as possible, and slow is rather better than fast. And of course, if you want, it's better to pick up the piece when you're first starting out to build a mug. Put on your hand like this, because it's easier for you to reach the corners at the bottom over here. So you want to pinch it and rotate the mug a little bit at a time like this. And you want to make sure that you're going light so you're not going all the way in suddenly and then all the way out to keep the walls as even as possible. You want to keep around this much spacings between your fingers when you're pinching it so you're not touching your fingers like this. Because if you do it that way, the walls might be a little bit too thin. So you want to keep continuing. You want to make sure that you're applying force with both your fingertips and also your fingers this way as well. And with your thumb, it's important to push it outward like this. So you want to push it outward and then forcing the pinching going in this way. So you're not just doing it like point by point. You want to use as much surface area on all your fingers as possible. So let's pick it back up and keep on rotating the piece as it goes. At around this stage, you kind of want to figure out what's the shape that you're going for. Because if you want to create a bigger piece, you want to make sure the bottom is slightly wider but if you want something that goes upward a little bit more, you wanna make sure the bottom is not as wide and keeping the walls slightly towards the center. So when you're pinching, you wanna make sure that you're pulling it a little bit at the same time instead of just going outward, especially if you wanna create a mug. So you wanna continue pinching and rotating the piece at the same time. And at this point, you should be traveling a little bit upward as you're going. So instead of staying at one spot at the bottom like this, you wanna make sure that your hands are going up a little bit at a time as the mug is being turned. And when you think you're ready, you can place the mug back on the turning table to focus on the walls. So when you're closer to the top, you can use both of your hands instead of just one because you don't need to hold the bottom of the mug anymore. You can turn the wheel with both of your hands and pinching it with all of your fingers. It's important to remember when you're pinching the mug, you're not just pinching them against your fingertips. You also want to bring it up a little bit to bring more height to the piece. You want to push in and pull up a little bit. So in this hand, you can see I'm pushing in and rolling the piece up. You want to go all the way around with an even speed and even pressure. So at this stage, you can see there are some crackage around the rim. Don't worry, this is totally normal. So what you want to do is to bring the crack together like this. And you can just use your finger to run it against each other. And then pinching them together again and they're rolling it together. Or if it's getting really dry like over here, you wanna take your sponge and dip it in water. Make sure to rinse out all the water so you're just having a damp sponge. And you wanna run it around the crack very gently. And just use your finger again to smooth out the crack. And it just disappeared. And now you just wanna even out the rim a little bit one more time. So sometimes you might have to bring yourself to the level of the rim of the mug to make sure it's as even as possible in terms of height. So as I can see, this height is a little bit higher than over here. So you wanna make sure to bring the walls up to match with the height. And then you just wanna keep going until you get the height that you want. And once again, if you see the crack, run it over with a damp sponge. And then run it again with your hand. You want to just do it all the way around the rim to make sure the cracks are hidden. 
Okay, now I'm pretty happy with the height of the mug, but I just want to even out the surface a little bit more. So what you can do is that you can use this tool, which is the rib, and you want to put your other hand on the inside of the mug to support it. And with the rib on the outside, you want to find the surface that you want to smooth out and just push it against the hand on the inside. Let me do it one more time. You want to grab it like this and apply pressure to your hands. And just keep on rotating. Make sure to use even pressure so you're not ruining the shape of the mugs. So you want to keep going until you reach the result that you want. So after you smooth out with the rib, you can grab your damp sponge and then smooth it out one more time on the exterior. So you want to make sure that you're going upward like this all the way around your mugs. For area that you think might need a little bit more hug, just repeat it a couple times. Always important to have your right hand in the inside of the mug to support it so it doesn't go wonky. So as you can see over here, it's a little bit uneven. You want to use your finger a little bit to help it to smooth it. Just go up and down like this to make sure it's as even as possible. And then use your sponge just to smooth it out one last time. So now just repeat it all around the mug. So now we're just cleaning it up for the one last time. So you want to grab your sponge and run it along the rim to make sure it's not bumpy. Because you're going to be drinking straight from the mug, so you want it to be as comfortable as possible for your mouth. And I like to clean the inside as well, just to make sure it's as smooth as possible. Just checking it one last time. For me personally, I like when the mug has a bit more characteristics, so I'm not really fuzzy about keeping it super, super smooth. But of course, it's totally up to you if you want a really smooth and perfect mug. You might want to repeat the process a couple more times to achieve the result that you like. But for me, this is pretty perfect. There you go, you got yourself a mug. If you want to learn more about pottery, check out my course at Domestica.